This isn't just SEC football. This is a rivalry, folks. We should see one heck of a contest today. And now the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. the ball set how he wants it and we're just about ready to kick this game off folks this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback the Tigers having a wide receiver like this I think sometimes it even helps a young quarterback because this kid goes out there he works hard in practice every day and I think he really lifts the whole offense I think he does I think he's almost like having an extension from the coaching staff into the locker room with the players he's a guy that makes big plays but I think he takes it upon himself to be able to help out with some of the other receivers make sure that they're all on the same page understand the route adjustments understand everything that goes on with being a wide receiver and the importance of blocking so all the little things that seem to add up and make big plays uh, i think this guy totally understands his responsibilities being a go-to player tackle made around the 27 yard line quick throw and down he goes right around the 34. It'll be short of the first after the completion. Well, good effort by the defense to make sure they got him before he got to the marker. Moore is back to receive. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He fields a punt at the 20. Tackle at the 23-yard line. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Pressured and brought down. It looks like the defensive end that got in there. Yes, it was. He did a wonderful job of fighting off blocks to bring the quarterback down. Second down and 16. Ball on their own 17. Here we go. And they get nice yardage on that run. Really one of the very tough places to play in college football, and it's no different today. He wants it all going long. And they intercept it. The junior safety brought down at the 49-yard line. Oh, boy. I bet he knew as soon as he released that football that he shouldn't have made the throw. And that's the thing. When you're under that kind of pressure, it takes away that one split second you need to scan the area so you know where it's a safe throw. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. So he decides to hold on to it, and that's going nowhere. That makes it second and ten. Here we go. Green in the Fires out to his wideout. And he's tackled to the 38-yard line. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him the first down. That's just a nice play. He's taken down around the 37-yard line. A yard, if any, there for the halfback. That brings us second and nine. Third down, and they need to get it to the 28. Push him out at the 10-yard line. Here's a great example of what this man is capable of. As receivers go, he's as electric as they come. Tackled at 
for a decent pickup. the PAT. It was a seven-play, 48-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Tigers really took care of business on defense that first time out, Kirby. One of the great traditions in college football is this defense and the way they play with such passion and enthusiasm in this environment. We're seeing that again today. I'm sure the quarterback would love to make amends for that last pick. It may be early, but don't think the coaches haven't spent a lot of time reminding these guys how important it is to take care of the football. They'll bring him down right around the 40. He's going to try and scramble. That's a great tackle at the 44-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. Oh, and he had some steam on that throw. He's taken down at the 43. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Call it a gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. Quick pass, man open, and he dropped it. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 33. And this crowd is going absolutely crazy. Quick out to his receiver. Tackle at the 34. Kicks away. Not a very good attempt there for the senior kicker. And our score, 7-0 LSU. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. That's good for a game of two yards. That makes it second and eight. LSU is up by a touchdown. And a quick throw. He's tackled around the 50-yard line. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice game on second down. And they make the stop at the 50. No game. That brings up second and nine. He's got an opening. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. You talk about a dual threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. Gets out to around the 25. Fires quickly and he's got his man. And they'll bring him down behind the line.
from the 26 yard line. Third down. And here's a quick throw. The quarterback threw it right into the hands of the safety. I can't believe he dropped it. That makes it fourth and four. LSU up seven points. The kick is away. It's long enough. And he got it. Yeah, he got some good leg behind it, and he kicked an accurate ball right between the goalposts. 10 0 LSU. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. LSU's got people flying all over the field on defense right now. Boy, they sure do. Right now, we're just seeing great defensive effort. They have a plan. They understand it. They're playing with great speed, and they're not giving up big plays. That's why they're playing well up to this point. It's not quite a blowout, but unless they do something here, it might turn into one. Room around the corner. Caught. He's tackled in the open field. Nice run up the middle. These fans are showing you why teams hate to come here, folks. Up the middle for a nice game. That makes it first and ten. Gains his way to midfield. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 50-yard line. Good tackle there in space. Flips it middle to the running back. I don't know if they'll be able to hear his cadence in the midst of all this mayhem. Gets it out to the wide end, and he's got the first. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Quick strike to the receiver. Tackle made at the 16. That makes it first and ten. Catches it and he's punished. And he just gets rid of it. They've looked good so far on third down in this drive. Let's see what happens here. to scramble, but he's sacked. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. And they can make this a one-possession game with this kick right here. He gets it up, and it splits the uprights. Brown, ready to kick. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. 
Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. LSU is up seven. He's at midfield, and he's finally shoved out at the 49. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. And he tackles him hard at the 27. Like we're going to have a good game on our hands after one 10 3 LSU. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. LSU is up a score. And he's stopped behind the line. Really good job by the big guys up front to use their size and speed and get the runner in the backfield. Third and five situation. Nine yards to the goal line. quickly and he's got his receiver for the touchdown you've got to give each of these guys credit for getting in sync really fighting to create that touchdown And he adds the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. He makes it to the 28-yard line. Nice run there. Becoming the 12th man, the crowd is always into it here. He makes his way to about the 42. That makes it first and 10. And down he goes at the 44. That makes it second and eight. Yeah. <laughs> 
makes it to the 41. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. Here's an opening. He gets hit out of bounds at the 32. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. There he goes. Good outside run there. That's a game of seven on the way. First down. There was some movement on the line. False start, offense. It's so tough to move the ball forward. Even a five-yard setback can do damage to a drive. So we'll have first and 15 after the penalty. Connor gets a ball left side. He's pushed out of bounds at the 19-yard line. The 10. Touchdown, Rebels. Outstanding run and great execution by the entire offensive unit, especially the blocking up front. And he tacks on the extra point. A nine-play, 76-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running backs. So the score now, 17-10. He's to the 20, across the 30, and he's taken down at the 33-yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Gets out to around the 48. LSU. down around the 47 yard line so they wrapped him up before he could get anything going yeah there was nothing there on that option they come out in an empty backfield gives it up the gut and he's tackled at about the 45 well, i think anytime you lose yardage it's frustrating as a ball carrier it's very frustrating as a play caller makes you a little bit more hesitant maybe to go back to a certain play the biggest thing you want to do as an offensive coordinator is get the offense over to the sideline after the series make sure everybody's on the same page and then show the confidence that you still have in them despite this play that you're going to go right back to the running back and trust that offensive line Darts it to the left. Palmer was the intended receiver on that pass. So that'll make it fourth down. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. Moore awaiting the return. And he can't hang on to the ball. He just couldn't pull that one in clean. And Brad, that's what happens when you take your eyes off the ball. This was an error that should have been avoided. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. On play action, he'll scramble. He's going to take off, and he's taken down at the 25-yard line. bring him down around the 27 yard line two yards there on the option keeper and you've got the experience that this safety has you can read plays very quickly and be in just the right position to make a stop near the line of scrimmage gains his way to the 36 yard line Caught and 
and he's hit immediately. He's taken down around the 38-yard line. Of two. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. It's away, and it's a booming punt. He's out to the 30, and down he goes at the 31-yard line. The Tigers' offensive staff, I think, has done a good job of keeping their wide receiver in the game. Even though he's not having great stats, he's part of it, and the rest of the team now is picking up his slack, I think. Well, this offense is still putting points on the board, and I think at times they're actually using the wide receiver, the go-to man who's drawing so much attention really as a decoy to open up other avenues of this offense. We've seen other receivers make some plays. They're running the football. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments this defense makes to try to slow down these other members of this offense. And who knows, maybe that could open it back up for that marquee receiver. Tackle at the 45-yard line. Quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. Well, that was clearly a poor read on somebody's part. And the bad news is there was no defender around. If the pass was anywhere near him, it could have gone for a big play. Here we go. Gets it out quickly. Knocked out of bounds. At about the 41. Looked like both sides tried to get away with some shoving while the ball was in the air. Here's the call. Now it's second and long after the penalty. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Fires that quickly, incomplete. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Quick throw, almost intercepted. That makes it fourth and long. Moore is the deep man awaiting the return. He's taken down at the 37 yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Throws complete, and he's got space to work. He's out of bounds at the 42-yard line. That brings him second and five. He makes his way to about the 48. Almost intercepted there. That was a nice play. Anything you can do without being penalized to prevent the offense from moving forward is always a plus. Second and 10. Ball on the 48. Caught. Big hit. He's going to lose yardage. Really one of the very tough places to play in college football, and it's no different today. Caught 
over the middle. They'll get him for a loss. The completion won't even be close to the sticks, and that's going to bring up fourth down. Well, they'll give them the short yards in that situation, just as long as they keep them from getting a first down. He doesn't want a touch back here. He wants to knock this ball inside the 10. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. LSU is up seven. He gets rid of this one. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 20. Quick strike to the receiver. The 50, and he shoved out of bounds right around the 48-yard line. So after the big pass play, we've got a first down. Rows left, the running back's got it. And they make the stop at the 36-yard line. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense came a little bit here, came with the blitz, and the quarterback showed tremendous play for making a good read and deliver a nice ball to the open man. Catches it, and he's looking for more. He's tackled around the 22-yard line. The Tigers are going to call their second timeout. The 22-yard line. First down. They'll spread the field with five wide. Throw in left. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver. This guy got it. So they're going to try to determine if the receiver Well, I think the play warranted a review, but the call on the field stands. LSU is up a score. He's into the open field. Tackle made at the one. Throws over the middle, touchdown. And he converts the extra point. A seven play, 80 yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brett, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow him down. York has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? Makes it to the 34. They run the option, and the pitch man will get credit for a nine-yard gain. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. He fights forward to about the 36, 
and they keep it on the ground for the first down. Nothing too fancy here. The key is that the running back was able to convert the first down. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. We've played a half of football here. LSU's in front by 14. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Neither offense ran into anything that suggested any type of trouble for them in the first half, both running up and down the field pretty much at will. Did you get the sense, David, that the that the defenses were a little tentative, that they, they were a little a little shell-shocked by what had happened? And if so, what do they need to do to change that in the second half? It's hard not to get that sense when the offense just goes choo, 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 up and down the field, up and down the field, and has success. But, you know, it, it's interesting. If you're going to continue to give up points, and you know your offense is continuing to score, why not get aggressive on defense? I mean, don't sit back. Don't let them dink and dunk. Don't let them run the football. Bring some guys up in the box. Play some man coverage. If you're going to give up points and you know you're scoring at a high clip, go for the gusto, baby. Try to make some big plays. Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. We've got a good, a lot of good games going. We're locked and loaded. We've got all the big screens going. You're going to be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. Yeah. We're loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. They stinky? <laughs> yes. Brad and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 27. The Tigers continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. Caught with room to work. And down he goes at about the 25-yard line. One of the top stadiums in the nation. This crowd comes to play themselves. Throws it. Watch out. Oh, almost had a pick. the snap he really got a hold of that one brought down at the 45 so they're just about set to get the game going again Gobbled up in the backfield. Once he saw it was a run, he made a great break on the ball and used his speed to make the big tackle. From their own 44-yard line, second down. And he's got the junior. Run down around the 44-yard line. Gets to about the 34 yard line. He 
he's at the 20. He gets out to about the 11 yard line. And he's tackled at the two. That's a great tackle at the one yard line. And he's taken down just outside the goal line. That brings him second and goal. From the one yard line, it's second down. He splits the uprights with the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Ole Miss is getting stopped right now. They're unable to get anything going here in the third quarter. Well, I think what they have to do at this point is they've got to get into a little bit more of a hurry-up mode, a little bit more urgency, score, and hope that the defense can come up with a stop and hope you can get the ball back and put more points on. Here's the halfback. And he's level at the 26-yard line. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. He's brought down in the open field. They'll bring him down at about the 45. That's a team. Man, 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 man. That makes it second and two. Let's go. Check, check. Check us. Number nine on the run. Call it a game of three yards. First down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. He's taken down around the 39-yard line. He's knocked out of bounds at the 38. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. The kick is up. That's a tough break there for the kicker. So the score is still 31-10 LSU.
So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Throws complete. He's got room to work. He gets hit out of bounds. Right around the 44-yard line. Throws it out, and it falls incomplete. Sure, it's disappointing, but this is the kind of mechanical flaw you can fix with practice and coaching. It's second and ten. Ball on the 44. Curry on the give. Tackle right around the 30. He's looking for six. That could have been a huge shift in momentum if they were able to hold on to that one. Wow, that was close. That makes it second and ten. From the 30-yard line, second down. Two down, two down. Ready. He's got it with room to run. And they push him out at the 19. The quarterback in the gun. For a loss. The defense got a great push and blew that play up well behind the line of scrimmage. It's second down now and 14 to go. Ball on the 23 yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Here we go. He's pushed out of bounds around the 17 yard line. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. Tackled for a loss. That'll be a two-yard loss. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. They'll line it up for the field goal. He gets it up, and it is good. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Gets it out quickly. And they make the stop at the 30-yard line. First down. He's to the 40, and he hauls that one in. He's tackled at the 44-yard line. Caught, and he's hit immediately. He gets out to about the 37-yard line. That's another first down, Brad. And right now, you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first downs, just pushing this defense further and further down, back deep into their own territory. And he's going to come up with a sack.
It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 40. Here we go. Little handoff. Nice run there. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And he is drilled at the 16-yard line. First down. Nice run, and he's brought down. And that sets them up with a first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Touchdown, Rebels! It takes a lot of strength to run it when you're heading into a massive pile of bodies. Good job of holding on to it and getting it across the goal line. They'll go for two in this situation. He's got the two. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Tigers had that hot hand on offense, and they just keep on going here in quarter number three. The greatest thing you could say about these guys today is consistency. They are moving the football and putting points up on the board. They're going to be tough to beat. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. Gets out to around the 38. Tackle made around the 49-yard line. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. You don't want to ever give your opponent a second chance, but that's exactly what they did by not making that interception. From their own 49-yard line, it's second down. Looking for his man, incomplete. He wants it all, going long. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. That'll make it fourth and ten. Moore is back deep to return. And this one is a beauty. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. Let's find out if the defense has made any adjustments after giving up a touchdown on that last drive. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. And he tackles them hard at the 22-yard line. That'll bring this third quarter to a close. The Tigers with a 16-point lead. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. They'll be able to hear his cadence in the midst of all this mayhem. He's hit and taken down. 
Pulls it in and stopped in his tracks with that tackle. Now he's scrambling. Decides to tuck it in and he's got space. Dives forward. Short over the middle. He's at the 30. And he hits him hard at the 18-yard line. There's a little bit of happy feet down there on the field. Let's get the call. You got to be careful to avoid these. Penalties are a great way to stall out a drive. So the penalty will make it first and 15. And down he goes at the 25-yard line. Well, you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. And this play is number eight on the drive. Wrestle him down in the backfield. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. Tosses out to the tailback on the screen. Brought down at the 19-yard line. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Slings it. Quick throw in the end zone. Touchdown. Well, they're going to try for the two-point conversion. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. So a 10-play, 84-yard drive, and they get six points on the board after failing the two-point conversion. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. And he's tackled around the 35-yard line. And he's taken down around the 44-yard line. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. That's good for a gain of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. And they get nice yardage on that run. Somebody jumped early down there. Start. It'll be third down again after that penalty. Yeah, now they have more yards Still to pick up for the first down. Third and five now following the defensive penalty. Hey, 
Quick throw. He's at the 30 to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. After positive yardage, Brennan comes away with around five yards on that option keeper. Here we go. Got an opening. Touchdown, Tigers. He hits the PAT. So that's a seven-play, 75-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running backs. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? quickly to the tailback. Knocked out of bounds. Right around the 32-yard line. Call it a game of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Scrambling around. He's taken down at the 33. Really a tough spot for an offense to be in against this crowd in this stadium. Here he goes. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. After a decent run up the gut. Game of seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. Three down, three down. 35 to the They bring the quarterback down. And so it's another third down upcoming here. And this crowd is going absolutely crazy. And now he's got room to run. Great concentration to haul it in. Tackle around the 47-yard line. Gets it out in a hurry. And he's knocked out immediately after the catch. Throws to the back. Oh, he dropped it. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. Steps out of bounds at the 25. They can't hear a thing down there. Throws a laser across the middle. And they make the stop at the 16. That makes it first and 10. Just under three to go in regulation. He scrambled. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. And he dives forward. There's a strike complete. They bring him down in the backfield.
13th play of the drive coming up. The crowd really making it difficult. And he carries the ball for a nice game. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. And that was a big stop defensively. Yeah, they only needed a few yards here to keep the drive alive. Great job by the defense to shut them down. Last drive ended with as good a result as you can hope for, and I'm sure they'd like to replicate that here. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack a defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterbacks put the ball right on the money. From their own 10-yard line, it's second down. Makes it out to maybe the 13-yard line. A little over a minute in the game. So, Kirk, how would you sum up the action of this one? LSU comes away with bragging rights this year, and I'm sure the fans and students will enjoy it just as much as the players. They were the better team today and added another great chapter to this rivalry. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long. <laughs>